That was Demons, uh, performed by the Pineapple Teeth Band, and I thought it would be fun to um, just maybe show you where some of the ideas, or the drum ideas, came for that piece. It was uh, a few, or oh, maybe two, two and a half years ago now that Bruce sent us the demo, and I've still got the demo, so I'm going to play a little bit of it for you now so you can hear what, how the drum idea started and where it ended up. Yeah, so basically it's a one bar loop and the drums are playing something like this. You know, Bruce quite often um, just writes with uh, a one bar drum loop or something. Uh, he expects that, well, probably I'm going to change it or do something else. You know, sometimes non-drummers, they write things uh, from a drum point of view that I actually really like. <laughs> so I'm never afraid to play what's on the demo if I think it's really good. Um, and I liked this pattern, but I thought I could add a lot more shape to the piece. So uh, because the arrangement starts with this little mandolin kind of sound playing 30 second notes, and when the drums come in, it starts with a kind of intro. And I wanted the intro to be a bit bigger than the verse, so it would kind of come down to the verse. And I think the first thing I tried to play was um, eights on the ride cymbal, so like this. I like the idea of the, the ride coming down to the closed hi-hat. But when I listened back to myself playing the uh, intro pattern, I was kind of attracted to the snare action. And it made me think, maybe I could focus the piece more around the snare drum and ghost notes on the snare drum. And maybe I, instead of playing the ride, I could just splash the hi-hats like this. And I recorded a version like that. But um, I then thought, you know what, I could, you know, sometimes on the drums I, I try to think about melodies and counterpoint melodies, little hooky sort of melodic things I can play on the toms. And I wanted to play um, a sort of cascading pattern where the drums that I pick are sort of two intervals away from each other. that kind of thing. So I worked out a pattern that I could include, um, at least in the intro, this tom melody. And that would be something that I came back to every time there was an intro. And then to bring it down for the verse, I stopped with uh, the hi-hat splashes and just played uh, the off eighth notes as a closed hi-hat part, uh, you know, with my foot. And I also kept a little bit of the tom melody, but it's, it's quite uh, cut down. So this is the verse.
So then it goes into a chorus, and um, I like the idea of, instead of playing quarter notes on the bell, actually playing eighth notes on the bell. So the chorus is quite straightforward. It's still got the same bass drum and snare drum pattern that pretty much goes throughout the whole song. So this is the chorus pattern. And it gives the, the song a sort of dynamic lift. So there's the intro pattern, the verse pattern, and the chorus pattern. The bass drum and snare drum pretty much always the same, uh, you know, the same rhythm throughout all those sections. There's, um, there's a guitar solo section, and I thought I would pick up on some of that 30-second note action because, um, no, it's not a guitar solo. <laughs> It's a, it's a little riff that, that Bruce plays that has some 30 second notes in it. And I thought I could pick up on some of that on the snare drum and also do my little cascading run, but as 30 second notes. So this is uh, that section with the, with the guitar riff. After that, there's a, there's a breakdown section, uh, which, you know, obviously was going to be very sparse. And uh, I think the very first time I recorded it, I just suddenly heard this little tiny tom melody, like a counterpoint tom melody going on throughout that section. Uh, and it goes like this. Later on, I add a backbeat on beat four, but I start off doing it as quite, um, quite a soft backbeat. Like just a, a bounce, a sort of a, like a buzz. So I play this. that whole atmospheric breakdown section just builds up and builds up until we get to um, the outro. And on the outro, I thought I could try to play something, uh, again, a little bit different. So the outro section goes like this. I wanted to just do a tiny little bit of 30 second note action between the hi-hat and the ride. Slowly it goes... Um I mean, it's really just a tiny little uh, embellishment. As with all embellishments, you know, you try to find a good moment, a good balance for a, a place to put those embellishments that are going to have a meaningful uh, part of the composition. So that's Demons. I got demons. 